Nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engine full power and lift off. Go Starlink. Go Falcon. Go Starlink. Eagles pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Time. MOD chair pressures are nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you just heard the call out for Max Q, which is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. We're now about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage step, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is when all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage, stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for these events happening in quick succession. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And you just saw that we confirmed Miko, stage separation, and SES-1 will be coming up shortly on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we just heard and saw those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that flew on today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for the sixth time and the other its seventh. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. Just as a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage. On trajectory. And on the right is the MVAC ignition that you can see glowing bright orange as it's carrying our Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. We also just heard a call out that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for another five minutes or so. Acquisition of signal of Bermuda. For those of you who are just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Time from Slick 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 219th mission overall and 20th mission just this year. A 
beautiful view of planet Earth on the left-hand side of your screen and on the right-hand side behind stage two. If you look on the bottom corners of your screen, you can see the speed and altitude of both the first and second stages. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Today, we're sending another 56 satellites to space on today's mission. Stage one entry burn startup. There's a call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has relit three of its stage engines. Stage one FTS is saved. Engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. You just heard stage the call out. Stage two FTS is saved that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. The first stage used to launch our 56 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its 10th time, having supported two CRS missions, two crew missions, Turksat 5B, vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Eutelsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and two Starlink missions. We have one more burn coming up on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and should be coming up in about one minute. The center engine, E9 specifically, is the engine that relights for landing burn to slow it down before it touches on the drone ship. Stage one transonic. There's that call that the first stage is transonic, which means it's traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up next, we have landing burn, which should start in about 15 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of, of Gravitas. Keep that on the right. Stage one landing leg deploy. Expected loss of signal cape. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed, marking the 10th successful landing for this booster. And we're now awaiting second engine cutoff coming up in a few seconds. Expected loss of signal Bermuda.